Welcome to Mouse Brain, the first Warrior Cats trivia game show where we test your favorite Battle Cat content creator to see just how much random trivia they know about the books. I'm your host, Blixamy, and I've lost control of my life. Joining us today, we've got two powerhouses in the community. From animation tips to analysis and everything in between, our first contestant is ready and able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Warrior Cats movie. You'll never be drawing any blanks for inspiration after being witness to her genius and skill. First to the stage, the legendary Tennille Flowers. Let's do this! The champion of Warriors comedy. Our next contestant will have you doubled over and cry laughing before you can say Ashfur's blonde wig. She'll spoil you with her charm, her wit, and her passion for the series. Facing off against Tennille Flowers, we have the one, the only, Moon Kitty. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Today's episode consists of three rounds, multiple choice mayhem, lightning fast facts, and finally, curious quotes. In each of these rounds, the contestants will have a chance to earn points by correctly answering questions. Whoever earns the most points by the end of the show will be our winner. Without further ado, let's get right into our first segment, multiple choice mayhem. Each question will have four multiple choice answers provided. The first to buzz in and correctly answer will get a point. But if the contestants feel like they know the answer before hearing the multiple choices, they can buzz in early for a chance at a bonus point. However, if the contestant buzzes in and gets the answer wrong, their opponent is given the opportunity to steal the point if they can answer correctly. 18 questions are queued up for this round. Here we go. So our first question for multiple choice. What causes Jay Feather to break his sacred stick? Oh, Tanil, you think you know even before you get the multiple choice questions. Yeah, he's mad at Rock for not answering any of his questions. That is super close. There's a specific thing that Rock kept from him. Do you know what that was? Holly Leaf not being part of the prophecy. Ooh, you're so close. Moon, do you want to try and snag it from her? Do you think that there's a specific reason? No, that was my answer. Okay, we'll give it to you because that's pretty close. Um, So it was when Rock revealed he knew about Jay Feather's real parents. Oh. He was overcome with feelings of betrayal. <laughs> so we're going to give that to Neil. Good job, Neil. I've been struck down from heaven already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to bring you down, Moon. Yeah, after the Jay Feather first question here. <laughs> <laughs> what is the actual two-leg name for Barley's Farm? Druid's Farm, Hearthstone Farm, Windover Farm, or Wheatland Farm? Oh. Jeez. Oh, Moon, you want to give it a try? Okay, I'm stuck between two, but I want to say it's Hearthstone Farm. Oh, no, it's not Hearthstone. Oh. What do you think, Tanil? Windover Farm? You got it, girl. Yeah! <laughs> Please kill me, God! <laughs> <laughs> Good job. That one was like, that one you don't know unless you're like studying the map, so. Whoever looks at the two leg map? Me. <laughs> <laughs> What game did Holly Paw win for ThunderClan during the Daylight Gathering? Moon's buzzing in. Uh, sparring with Heatherpaw. Yeah, she was the best fighter. Way to go. Thank you. Ooh, Holly Paw, who are you fighting? Heatherpaw. I didn't even mark down it was Heatherpaw. You just, that was extra points, I guess. What do the tribe cats call their apprentices? Whoa, oh, that was super fast, but Moon, you slipped in there first. Oh. Two bees. Yeah! Dang it. Whoa! Finally, I'm catching up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what punishment did Blue Star give her deputy, Fireheart, when she discovered he had made peace with WindClan behind her back? Oh, Tanil slipped in there. What is it? He had to do apprentice duties. Did, mm, I don't think he did. Moon, do you want to try and sneak yes, in? Yes, yes. Uh, it is to, uh, to continue being deputy and to become leader after her because that would be the worst punishment she can think of. Right. So there was no punishment. Oh, okay. Dang it! That had to be a punishment for something. Oh, yeah, they use that all the time. Yeah. What is the name of the mysterious plague affecting Shadow Clan that One Star won't share the cure for? Shadow Cough, Yellow Cough, The Wheeze, or blue cough. Moon, what do you think it is? Yellow cough. You got it. I knew it was a color 
cough. I just needed to hear all the <laughs> answers first. Who was the first cat to suggest that Cinderpaw's accident was actually a failed trap set by Tiger Claw? Sandstorm, Fireheart, Princess, or Cinderpaw? Tineo, what do you think it is? I, I'm not sure on this one, but my gut says Fireheart. Nope, not Fireheart. He wasn't the very first one to suggest it. Moon, do you think you know? I'm going to say Princess because it's the most out there answer it could be. <laughs> yeah, it was Princess. Ah, man. That was my second guess because I'm like, wait, but doesn't he come to that conclusion because Princess suggests something? You betcha. That's exactly yeah. what happens. What kit does Honeyfur die saving when she jumps in front of a deadly snake? Moon was ready! Oh, no! That's Briar Kit. That is Briar Kit. Nope. I'm so fortunate to be a kit with working back legs. <laughs> <laughs> I had all these kits in there that I thought would trick you guys. I had Blossom Kit in there, Ivy Kit, Ice Kit. You didn't even need them. What event caused Leopard Star to finally admit the two legs were destroying the forest and agree to leave the lake with the rest of the clans? Seeing the river being drained by two legs, when one of their elders died from eating poisoned fish, when four trees were set on fire by the two legs, or Shadow Clan's camp being completely destroyed. Oh, Tanil, you think you know it? Yeah, I think it's that one of the elders died. Uh, not of River Clan. Nope, that's not what caused her to leave. Dang it. Moon, do you know? This is hard, but I want to say it's Shadow Clan's camp is destroyed. It is, yeah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tineo. <laughs> who is the father of Daisy's second litter of kids? <laughs> Moon, who is the daddy? Spiderleg. Oh, that's what I got to do. Spiderleg is the papa. I'm just a second behind you clicking the buzzer, Moon. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you to say first or second, and I clicked the second you said it. <laughs> <laughs> After RiverClan loses a battle with the kin, what does Darktail refuse to let Misty Star do as an act of disrespect for her and her clan? He refuses to let Misty Star leave River Clan and forces her and the rest of the healthy cats to become workers in the kin. He refuses to see her as a leader and will not use her Star Clan given name, instead only calling her Misty. He refuses to let her live and drowns her in the lake. He refuses to let her take her dead and injured clanmates to be taken care of and buried. Moon. Number four. You betcha. Refuse to let her take her clanmates and let them rot in the open. Nasty. Oh, Shattered Sky is brutal. It's gross. It is! Oh my god! <laughs> I, I like how you included a Misty Star drowning in the lake. If only. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the pretend clan Lionpaw and Heatherpaw made up in the tunnels under their territories? Tenio. Dark clan! <laughs> I'm not letting Moon steal it. <laughs> my my brain wanted to say Shadow Clan anyway, and that wasn't right. Like, <laughs> even though I just made a video about this. Who was the very first cat to receive Star Clan's message? Fire alone will save our clan. Tineal. Spotted Leaf. You got it. <laughs> the options were Spotted Leaf, Blue Star, Yellow Fang, and Firepaw. Yeah, <laughs> Firepaw. <laughs> hey, Firepaw, I got a prophecy for you. I mean, technically, he does receive the prophecy. He just goes, oh, I wonder what that could mean. What caused Leafpool and Crowfeather to change their minds about leaving the clans and return home? Oh, Tanil, you think you know and before everything. Midnight the Badger shows up and tells them that <sighs> Badgers are attacking ThunderClan. You got it, girl. Yeah. <laughs> that was also my answer. <laughs> <laughs> what lie does Ivy Paw tell her mother Whitewing to cover up her bleeding due to the training in the dark forest? She bit her lip when she was eating fresh kill, and it was still bloody. She had pulled out a claw while hunting earlier, and it wouldn't stop bleeding. A thorn was caught in her nest and nicked her in her sleep. She confided in Whitewing about what was happening with the dark forest cats. <laughs> Yeah, Tanil, you think you got it? It's a thorn. That's, that seems to be a favorite of Dark Forest cats, because I think Brambleclaw uses that exact same excuse in Sunset as As does Lionblaze in the third series. Yeah, yeah, everybody has thorns in their nest. It's very common. Yeah, thorn in the nest. Tanil, you're closing that gap. <laughs> Who does Blue Star reveal to Jayfeather to be the fourth prophecy cat? Moon, what do you think? Firestar! Wow! <laughs> 
It is Firestar. How disappointing. <laughs> What caused Mothwing to lose her faith in Starclan? Ooh, Moon, what do you think it is? Finding out her brother faked the sign. That is part of it. Part of the reason. Do you want to elaborate at all? Uh, uh, finding out that they weren't initially going to choose her until her brother faked the sign? You're really close to Neil. Do you want to see if you can get... Uh, steal half of her point there. I don't know. That seems like the full answer to me. Okay, well, I'll play through the answers and then you guys will get a better idea. She was afraid Starclan would not allow her to be a medicine cat because Tigerstar was her father, so she blocked them out. She met Tigerstar in a dream, and he told her they were tales for cowards and fools. She never had faith to begin with. She couldn't believe Starclan would allow her brother to be so wicked or torment her so badly. That one. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys each a half point because Moon, you were like so close on it. Like you were like pretty much there. Okay. Tie. A tie. <laughs> you know how hard it was for me not to put like a million questions about Mothwing in? <laughs> I had to limit them a Just lot. Just turn this into like a... A dating show where you have to, like, figure out what Mothwing's <laughs> interests are or whatever. Oh my god, I'd love that. <laughs> what was the defining physical feature that made Tree stand out from most cats? Moon, what do you think it is? Six toe. He had six toes! You got it! The buzzers may be hot, but the contestants are hotter. Let's take a look in with Craig to see where the scores are standing before heading into our second segment. Show them to me, Craig! Things are looking great. They couldn't look any greater, in fact. Let's keep this show a-going. Our next segment is Lightning Fast Facts. This section is all about speed. No safety nets or multiple choice answers to be found. You gotta go with your gut and answer as fast as possible. Like the last round, the first to buzz in will be the first to answer. But get it wrong and your opponent could swoop in for the steal. We've got 15 questions lined up for the taking. Here we go! What Shadow Clan cat does Lion Blaze accidentally kill during a territory dispute? Tineal. Oh, shoot. Uh, Ro. No. Yes, that's it. No, no, no. It's that's not. That's it. It's not You're Rowan. so it's close. Crap. It's. It's another R. It's another it's R. Another I know who it is. Two. <laughs> okay, Moon, who do you think it is? It's Russet Fur. Russet! Dang it! That sassy little answer. It's <laughs> Russet Fur. <laughs> Who's the fast one now, Daniel? Oh my god! <laughs> What warrior name did Poppy Paw give to Berry Paw to tease him? Tinniel, what do you think it is? Berry Stumpy Tail. A berry, berry stumpy tail for you. Aww. That is so cute. How dare you? <laughs> Which queen nursed Graystripe's kits after Silverstream passed away? Tinniel, whoa, you're like on this buzzer. I, I, and you know what? I think I'm totally wrong. I'm going to say Graypool, but that's not correct. No, it's not Graypool. Do you know, Moon? Uh, would that be uh, Speckletail? Nope, not Speckle Tail. Ooh. Uh, Brindleface? Nope, not Brindleface. Uh, Golden Flower. Golden Flower, yeah, you uh, betcha. <laughs> like, we literally named all the available queens. I don't know why I thought of Speckle I guess I thought that, that uh, Bramble Kit and Tawny Kit were born later than they were. ThunderClan only had one kit with them on the journey to the Lake Territories. What was this kit's name? Moon. Birch Kit. Birch Kit. Hmm. I do my best to forget the new prophecy, <laughs> especially the traveling parts. Out of the six journeying cats, which two cats did not receive a message from Star Clan? Moon, fresh on the buzzer. Stormfur and Squirrel Flight. Boom! Squirrel Paw and Stormfur. Oh, yeah, she was an apprentice, but. Uh, <laughs> Disqualified! God dang it! <laughs> That's the kind of thing my English teacher would do to me. Oh, yeah, it's like, well, technically there's a more right answer, so you're wrong. I'm gonna start doing that to you guys. If you don't get the exact wording, you're kicked out. Flix me, please. I thought we were friends. Yes, we are friends, but there's no friends in love and trivia. It's only trivia. Unlike warriors who share all clan duties, what are the two main positions tribe cats can be when they're an adult? Moon! A hunter and a cave guard? So close. What's the name of the hunter? There's a specific tribe term for it. Oh my god. Let me think. 
Uh, is it literally just Prey Hunter? It is just Prey Hunter, yeah. but it's hyphened in everything. Half a point to each. <laughs> <laughs> Which Star Clan cat tells Jay Feather the only way to survive against the threat of the dark forest is for the clans to stand alone? Tinia. Yellow Fang. Yellow Fang. I don't remember that at all. Oh yeah, I remember that vividly. Doesn't Star Clan decide that like like it hates each other? Yeah, and Yellow Fang goes rogue, goes to Jay Feather and says, "Screw all the other clans. Thunder Clan's the only one that can make it out of this alive. So just." Wall up and let the others perish. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Which queen started giving birth during the badger attack that ended up killing Cinderpelt? Moon. Dang it. Sorrel Tail. Sorrel Tail. What is the name of the pretty kitty pet Alderheart develops a crush on? Tenille. Yes! Velvet! You stole my wife, Tenille. I know! I'm so glad I buzzed in before you. Yeah, Moon, I was expecting you to be hot on that buzzer. You love him. I was hot on that buzzer. It was the second you said all to her, I clicked. Tenille was hotter. I don't think either Moon or I could be hotter on this buzzer. I, I'm, I'm saying that Velvet is pretty hot on the buzzer. Just, just keep putting that out there. She's a pretty cute kitty pet, if I do say so myself. What cruel name was given to Brightpaw after she was attacked by dogs? <laughs> Danilo! <laughs> Lost face. You guys, you weren't even phased. Do you That's knew? That's easy stuff, Lixamine. <laughs> Have to throw in a few, a few nice ones to fall you into a false sense of security. When Puddleshine falls mysteriously ill, what controversial cure does Alderheart try in hopes to save his friend? Moon. Death berries. Specifically, not the seeds of them, the flesh of the death berries. <laughs> wow, that's way more in detail than I had the answer, but yes, that's it. <laughs> well, I wasn't I wasn't even gonna risk you giving half of that to Janiel. I was gonna I was gonna go down stabbing. <laughs> I, I was waiting for it. I'm just like, got my greedy little claws out, ready to snap. <laughs> I've stolen too many half points from Moon. I've scarred her. I don't even know if you're counting my half points. I'm worried now. I'm worried you're only giving the half points to Neil behind my back. Give me more points in post flicks. There's like style points. You gonna you gonna award bonus stars for the person who's fastest on the buzzer? <laughs> what is the name of the ancient cat whose spirit is trapped in the tunnels? To Neil. Fallen leaves. And the hint was a pun that I was so proud of. What was your hint? He could not leave the tunnels. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Who was Sandpaw's mentor? Moon. Whitestorm. How did you know it was Whitestorm? It's just deeply seated into your brain. <laughs> During the final battle against the Dark Forest, who fatally injures Hollyleaf? Oh, Moon! Oh. Hawkfrost? You say that with a questioning. I did because I was remembering how after Hawk Frost kills her, Breeze Pelt stands over her body and says, huh, she deserved to die. You losers all deserve to die for having the same dad as me, but especially her. She deserved to die. Yeah, it, it's true, though. There was a lot of passion in that. Do you have some, you know, anything you want to talk about? We're here for you. I hate Breeze Pelt. Breeze Paw's a little stinker. What type of creature did Holly Paw mistake Soul for? Moon! Whoa! A lion. A lion! Damn! You guys are so fast. You're on top of it. I mean, I also read that book like a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> and, and took notes on it while I was reading it. <laughs> we are two segments down. Only one remains before we see who is the champion of our first episode of Mouse Brain. Let's take a peek in with Craig and see where everybody sits before heading into the final round. Let's see him, Craig. It's gonna be a spicy one. Let's see where everything ends coming into the close of our final segment. Our final segment is Curious Quotes. Do you know who said what? In this section, the contestants can get up to three points per question. One point for knowing who said the quote, and two additional points for knowing who the quote was said to. Be careful though, if you answer incorrectly, your opponent will be given the opportunity to strike and steal your points. Six quotes are ready to hit the stage. Here we go! 
Star Clan does not control the wind or rain, do they? They do not command the sun to rise or the moon to wax and wane. Do not fear, little one. From now on, wherever you walk, I will walk with you. Moon, who do you think it is? I think it's Blue Star talking to Rusty. It is neither of those things. Ooh, I think I might have a guess. I'm just not sure who's saying it, but I think I know who they're saying it to. My guess is that it is Rock to J Feather. <laughs> no, neither of those. Dang it. So Moon go forward in time, Tanil go back in time. We're in Moonrise. So we're in Arc 2, Book 2. Tanil. Midnight to Brambleclaw. Neither of those cats. Moon, you got a really? guess? Stone Teller to Feathertail's corpse? <laughs> nope. <laughs> this one is a little tougher. You got stumped. <laughs> They're medicine cats. The cat who's speaking is a Star Clan warrior. Moon guessed last, so Tanil, do you have another guess? Uh Spotted Leaf to Leaf Paw? Both. Boom. Got it. Oh my ah! god. That one was tough. <laughs> this is the unfairness that reigns across this land. <laughs> <laughs> the quotes are a little tougher, but you got it. I mean, that would explain why I didn't remember it. <laughs> Eat dirt, new prophecy. Take a hike, new prophecy. <laughs> Go to the lake, new prophecy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Your collar is a mark of the two legs. And that noisy jingling will make you a poor hunter at best. At worst, it will bring the two legs into our territory, looking for the poor lost kitty pet who fills the woods with his pitiful tinkling. Uh, it looks like Tanil buzzed him first. Do you know who it is and who they're talking to? Blue Star to Rusty Firepaw. Damn, you you buzzed him a little too early. It is not it is not Blue Star, but it is Rusty. So I'll give you two oh, points no, for that. Then I know hey, who hey, it hey. Is. Long tail to Rusty Firepaw. What do you think will happen to a cat who rejected and then killed his own son? Surely that cat would end up in the dark forest. Think of that when you're on your last life. Moon, who do you think it is? That's Yellow Fang to Fire Part. Neither of those cats. Tanil, you got a guess? Um, okay. Uh, one star to uh, Bramble Star? Moon, do you have a guess on top of that? I want a hint. So one star is in that. Not necessarily how Tanil thought. It is in Shattered Sky. Yeah, I assumed that much. Um, <laughs> okay, so you want a better hint? <laughs> no, no. It, it, it's, it's just, I don't remember the cats who were around at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like, I know exactly when this happens, and I can't for the life of me remember who's saying it. <laughs> I'll just take a guess that the person they're talking to is Twig Branch. Uh, no, they're not talking to Twig Branch, no. One star is in it, but he is not the one speaking. He's being spoken to. Oh, he's being spoken to. Okay, so is it Darktail? Darktail, yep. Ah! So I'm, I'm just gonna give you the one point. For some reason, I was under the impression that this was after One Star had killed his own son and they were talking about it. It's, it my brain. Kind of. This one's kind of a weird one because this is technically one star quoting Darktail who whispered to him but in general it was Darktail who said it to one star in his ear and then one star's like I'm not here I'm not fighting this guy gotcha Faith has helped to guide the clans through difficult times before but right now it seems to be getting in the way Tanil who do you think it is it's Mothwing Kate who is she speaking to Jay Feather yeah <laughs> yes dang it <laughs> <laughs> I, I, these quotes are, they're just killing me in my grave. They're stabbing me repeatedly. <laughs> they're tough. They are tough, but I, I like these. These are a nice tough. Yeah, because you're getting points. <laughs> exactly. How can the clan survive when there are cowards and liars at the very heart of them? Tineo. This is Blue Star to Fireheart. It is not Blue Star to Fireheart. Oh? <laughs> Moon, do you got a guess? I want a hint. <laughs> <laughs> we're way past Blue Star and Fireheart. Um, we're in Arc 3 when this happens. Holly Leaf? Okay. To Leaf Pool? Holly Leaf is not necessarily talking to someone, but she is speaking. She's at the, the Gathering on the Rock. You got it. Yep. Okay. Star Clan has shown me the way. 
To survive the hardships ahead of us, we must join together. As four clans, we waste our energies in striving against each other. As one, we would be strong. We must unite. Let us rule the forest together in friendship and peace. Moon, who do you think it is? Tiger Star. Okay, do you know who he's talking to? I want to say he's talking to a gathering or a group of leaders. <laughs> Moon crushed it. That was exactly it. Yep. I thought I would trick you because it was kind of a nice quote, but you knew it instantly. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Your games didn't work against me, me. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, I knew that one as well. <laughs> Moon was just hot on the buzzer. Yep. We have made it to the end of the first episode of Mouse Brained. My assistant Craig is in the back, tallying up the scores to see who is our first champion of the show. While we wait for those, I wanted to give a huge thank you to both Moon Kitty and to Neil Flowers, two good friends of mine, for coming on for this first experiment and joining in the fun. And I wanted to thank you guys for watching and enjoying the show. If you guys have somebody in mind you'd like to see take on the challenge of Moon or Tenille's skill, let me know in the comments. And also while you're down there, let me know how you guys did against their scores. Would you have given them a run for their money? Cause <laughs> I know I wouldn't have. <laughs> the results are in. Ladies and gentlemen, and all types of friends in between, this is the moment you've been waiting for. I am so excited to share with you the final scores and champion of our first episode of Mouse Brain.